Hey, check out what happens when I take these tablets of calcium gluconate, place them on a fuel tablet, and light the tablet on fire. Isn't that awesome? After the fire gets going, something that looks like black snakes seem to grow out of the tablets of calcium gluconate. Some people like to call this chemical reaction Pharaoh's Serpent. There's a whole lot of chemistry going on in this reaction that's often overlooked. So in this video, I'm going to describe to you in detail the chemistry that's going on. There are three features of this reaction that stand out to me, and they all provide clues about the chemical reaction that's happening. The most obvious is the growing black foam. However, I also notice that the color of the foam changes to gray or even white over time. I also notice that the hot foam emits an orange color when it's black, but check this out. When it's white, it emits a bright white light. All of these features can be explained by the chemical reactions that are involved. When the calcium gluconate is heated, it decomposes into solid carbon, gaseous water, and solid calcium carbonate. The carbon that's produced gives the foam its black color. Interestingly, it's the gaseous water produced in this chemical reaction that provides the bubbles to form the foam. Materials that swell up like this when heated are called intumescent and the foam created is a great insulator. Therefore, intumescent materials, including calcium gluconate, are being researched as potential fire retardants. The incandescent orange light emitted from the black foam is typical of what's observed when a carbonaceous material is heated. But what's up with that bright white light? Well, this forms as a result of two additional chemical reactions. First, the carbon in the hot black foam continues to react with oxygen in the surrounding air, and this forms carbon dioxide gas. This, of course, removes the black carbon from the foam, leaving only calcium carbonate, which is white in color. So now we know why the foam changes to white as the reaction proceeds. But the residual calcium carbonate also continues to react, forming calcium oxide and carbon dioxide. Calcium oxide is also known as lime. And when lime is heated to high temperatures, it gives off bright white light. So now you know where that brilliant white light comes from. And you also know the origin of the term limelight. Hey, if you notice any additional aspects of this chemical reaction that you find interesting and that can be explained with chemistry, let me know in the comments. Thanks a bunch for watching.